only one of these Bofang radios is actually legal to use in the United States. Can you spot which one? This time on KMRD Radio Stuff. Well, did you spot it? Did you spot the one legal one? It's this one. This is the Radioddity GT5R. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to another episode of K and MRD Radio Stuff. Just wanted to show this radio to you. Guys, I am a huge, huge fan of Bofangs. I am not afraid to admit it. The Bofang is the reason that I am an amateur radio operator. It's the reason that I got my technician, my general, my extra, and my VE all because of this little radio, okay? $25 gets you into ham radio. Now, my first one was a UV5R plus something or other. Uh, back in 2016, I bought it. Then I bought another one and another one and another one. I just love them. They're so cheap. You can just have them everywhere. You can give them to your buddies if you're out at a field day, somebody forgot their HT, here, take this one. But none of them are FCC compliant. They all have spurious emissions. Until now, Radioddity has partnered with Bofang. They are the uh, sole dealer of this at the time of this recording uh, for the GT5R. This has gone through all the tests, all the rigmarole to get the FCC certification. This is 100% legal Bofang. So all you Bofang haters out there, I know there's a lot of you, you might can stop hating a little bit now. These things are getting people into amateur radio bar none, more than anything else that I know of because they're so cheap and affordable uh, for anyone to get and even little kids. So anyway, let's crack the box open, show you what we get. Uh, I'll show you a couple configurations. This is compatible with all of your other UV5R type radio accessories and whatnot. And then we'll hop over on the computer and we'll take a look at the website and see what we can see there. So let's dive in and see what we get in the box. So here's the box it comes in. It's Mark Bofang GT5R. A um, little bit different box than uh, some of the other Bofangs that I've got, but it's got the FCC ID on there, the frequencies that it transmits on, and a uh, cool little mountainscape there. I like the outdoors, so I think it's pretty neat. So I've already opened this, but I put everything back in just to show you. I haven't done an unboxing video in a while. So first off the bat, you get a, what is this? Thank you for buying Bofang two-way radios. Um, Something in German, not sure what that says, but pretty sure it says subscribe to KNMRD Radio stuff. So just a little thank you card it looks like. Then you get your user manual that is actually, uh, I mean here right there, RF exposure compliance statement and operating instructions. This device has been tested against the SAR limit 1.6 watt per kilogram, whatever all that means. I mean that right away, right off the bat, they're talking about uh, FCC compliance. So uh, this is written better it's like uh, actually legible English. So uh, they've definitely gone through to really upgrade the Bofang and really just make it a, a better, more compliant product. So the top thing here, you get your radio. Uh, it doesn't have the battery connected, it's, uh, but I have taken it out. So it's, that's what you get. There's the radio, it comes in some plastic. Then you take this out and you get your kind of FBI kind of earpiece thing here. So I never use these, but they always come with them. Some people like them, some of those tactical guys, you know. Uh, here's your antenna. It's a little bit longer antenna than some of my other UV5R antennas. And then we get our charging uh, cord. Here's our belt clip that attaches to the radio, not the battery, which is always nice. You get yourself a lanyard and the charging dock. All right, so let's power this on and show you what it is. I mean, it's if you're familiar with Bofangs, it's, you're gonna be right at home, but let's get rid of this plastic first. And uh, upon powering on, we're gonna hear this familiar frequency mode. And now it's powered on. So you've got your VFO mode. memory there. Mode. A little loud. Frequency so you can switch between frequency and channel. You can toggle between your A and B. You see that little arrow going, now you're on channel A or channel B. Hitting the menu, you can see we've got how many menus? We've got 40 menus, just like all the other Bofangs. Programmable with Chirp makes it very easy. I won't go through here, but 
It's just a standard Bofang, but it's FCC compliant. We can also choose our band here with the band button. I like that. One thing, uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this. If you notice that little L right there, that's the power. If you hit the pound button, that cycles the power. So now it's in low, now it's in high. Very easy, you don't have to go into the settings of these to change the output power, which is really nice. And like I mentioned before, all of your accessories for all your other UV5R series are gonna work with this. So for example, let's take this battery off. And before actually we can see, here's the model, there's the FCC ID again on the radio. Just more compliant stuff there. Comes with an 1800 milliamp battery. But if you want a bigger battery, you can buy accessories. Like this one here, this is a 3800 milliamp battery. You can see, makes the, makes the uh, radio a bit bigger and it simply slides in and latches. And now we have an extended battery. Or maybe we just have another Bofang, like this is the one from my UV5R Plus that will fit in same 1800 milliamp hour battery, but that also fits. So everything is compatible with this. This is the bigger 2100 milliamp battery from the BF F8 Plus, whatever the eight watt version is also fits no problem like a glove on the right hand side you've got your flap for your uh, earbuds or your programming cable you do need to buy a separate programming cable it does not come with it so keep that in mind and uh, that's about it so let's hop over on the computer and I'll show you uh, the radiotity website and where you can find the specifications for all the FCC testing Okay, so if we go to radiotity.com, I'll leave a link in the description, and up here in the search bar, just type in GT, you can already see that this GT5R shows up right away. So we can click on that, and we can see that it is in stock for the United States. And it gives us a couple uh, tidbits of info here. It is a 100% legal version of the UV5R. GT5R transmits both VHF and UHF, complies with FCC equipment rules, blah, blah, blah. So uh, they have submitted all of the necessary stuff, tests, to the FCC, and the document is in here as well, and I'll show you that in a second. 25 bucks, illegal Bofang, no spurious emissions, no nothing. Uh, it just works. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, here you can see programs. Uh, you can manually program it. Manually programming these radios is not the easiest thing. I would recommend downloading Chirp. You do need to buy a cable separately for this, the programming cable. It does not come with one. So it's quite functional. GT5R extends all the functions from the UV5R. You get Vox, dual frequency, uh, dual standby scan. The scans are pretty slow on these. Uh, and with this one, I don't know if it would be a great emergency communication scanner. Now, if we start scrolling down, we're going to see, uh, you get some information on it, all this. But this right here, this Certificate of Compliance PDF, we're going to click on that. And that is going to be where we can see everything that was submitted to the FCC. So you got your table of contents and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it starts to show you the test results. And here FCC, part whatever, passes. That's good. So they've done all kinds of tests on here. Spurious, spurious emission antenna, pass. Spurious radiated emissions, pass. So here they're talking about the uh, measurement equipment used to rate all that stuff. I don't know what any of this stuff means. It's uh, a bit fancier than I am, but uh, they used all of this stuff to test this radio to make sure that it was FCC compliant. It's not my mom. Scrolling down a bit, we can see the frequencies that they tested it at. So 420, 420 to 449. Well, they just basically used a, a low, a middle, and a high frequency for uh, VHF and UHF there. So you can see where they tested it at. I mean, all the, all the documents here. So boys, this thing looks legit. So yeah, I mean, you can, you can go online and read about this. It's right on the Radiotity website to check all this stuff. Um, 
It's a bit out of my pay grade what a lot of this means, but it's there for those of you who are smarter than me. I'm still learning a bit. Uh, here's the scope. So you can see uh, there's your uh, carrier and then your harmonics well below the noise level there. And uh, yeah, it's just clean. It's very, very clean. So we can recommend Bofangs. Well, this one, the Radiotity uh, GT5R. It is, it is a Bofang. So it's all in here, boys. So I won't bore you with this. You can, you can take a look at this on your own. And it just keeps going. There's, there's, uh, this, is a, this is a pretty long uh, page 19 of 42. So a really long test of this radio. So yeah, it's legit. And lastly, what would a Bofang video be without a power test? So I'm not sure you can see, but we're on 146 on VHF. We'll key up, see what we get. About 3.9 watts. And if we go to our UHF band on 446.000, okay, up about three, three and a quarter. If we go to, I think, 144, like I saw a little over four watts. So typical four watt uh, Bofang, let's see what we get on low power on 144. Eh, a little less than a watt there. I don't know what the, um, the accuracy of this meter is at this low a power, but Here's 14652, so 0.8, so it's probably about a watt there, and then about four watts on high, which is standard for just about every Bofang you can find out there. So that is it, gang. Just wanted to give you a quick look at the Bofang GT5R from Radiotity. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below if you want to pick one of these up. They're 25 bucks. 25 bucks to get into ham radio and it's finally legal. Thank you. Thank you for making this. Uh, I love my Bofangs. I can't say enough good things about them. So anyway, guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, do hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and also hit the bell so you're notified when I make new videos. Thank you so much for watching another episode of K at MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.